I'm going to show you the best way to build your WooCommerce website in just five easy steps. And the first step is to sign up for a hosting company. This is a company that's going to host your website. And my favorite hosting company is Hostinger because they're affordable and very reliable when it comes to hosting your WooCommerce website. The second step is to set up the foundation for your WooCommerce website, the type of website you want in the specific settings. And I'll show you exactly how to do that. Step three is to build the framework for your online store, choosing the website template, your domain name, and all the best plugins to help customers find and buy your product. Step number four is adding your product onto your website. And there's a hack here that's new to WooCommerce that can help you to get your product onto your store even faster. And the final and fifth step is customizing your new store. And in this video, we're gonna go in depth and talk about all five of these steps. So pay attention. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to hostinger.com and we're gonna sign up for a hosting account. And when you have a website online, you need a computer that's going to be hosting your website so that everyone else that's using the internet can load your website. Now, you can do this yourself. You can buy a computer. You can host your website at your home, but nobody does this. It's not worth it. It's so much more affordable to use a hosting company. In fact, it's only a few dollars a month. And I actually have the hookup with Hostinger. Hostinger is the most affordable hosting company out there. There's a link in the description. Plus, if you use coupon code Travis, you'll get an extra 10% off. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on Claim Deal. From there, we're gonna select the type of plan we wanna start. We'll select Cloud Startup. It's the most popular one of Hostinger's plans and it comes with essential features like SSL certificates and daily backups, which I highly recommend doing because it makes it so that if anything happens to your website, if there's ever a problem, you can just back it up and restore from a previous point. When signing up with Hostinger, you'll also get a free domain and a free email. So click on that, and right here, it's gonna show you how long you're signing up for your plan. And the longer you sign up for your plan, the cheaper the rate is, and this is gonna lock in that discounted price. Once your contract is up, they are going to raise the price. So I recommend signing up for a longer plan. Then we're gonna scroll down and just put in our billing information. And before I get into the next step, make sure to smash that like button because as I mentioned, I did negotiate a discount with Hosinger. There is that coupon code link in the description down below. And in total, when you use my link and the discount code, you're getting hosting for 50% off. It's way more affordable than anywhere else on the internet. And once we put in the code and click on submit, boom, just like that, you already have a company that's going to host your WooCommerce website. The hard part is already done. And I'm gonna show you how easy it is from here to set up your WooCommerce website. It only takes a couple clicks of the mouse. All you have to do is click on start now and we're already at step two. Step two is to start your website. And there are some simple first steps in order to set up your online store with WooCommerce. And Hostinger makes this very easy. This page asks you, who is the website for? And all you have to do is click myself or my business because I'm assuming if you're watching this video, you're building a website for yourself or your new business. Then you'll click on next and the next page asks, do you wanna create or migrate a website? And in this video, we're starting a WooCommerce website from scratch. We're not migrating an existing website. We didn't already have a website. We're starting it from scratch right here. So we're gonna click create and next. Now, before I go any further, I do need to explain to you what the difference is between WordPress and WooCommerce. WordPress allows you to build a website. WooCommerce, on the other hand, is a plugin that goes into WordPress that allows you to sell things and accept credit card payments. And even though today we are building a WooCommerce website, we're also in the process creating a WordPress website at the same time. And if that sounds confusing, don't worry, stay with me and it'll all make sense. And right here, we're going to create the login details. So you're gonna wanna put in a username and a password and click next. After that, you're gonna select what type of website you want to build. And we're gonna build an online store so we can earn passive income. So we're gonna click that and click next. Now we're going to step three, and this is where you actually build your website. We'll choose some basic details that we'll build up and customize later, but this is setting the style of your store. First up, we've got the way you want your store built. There are two options. One is a pre-built template where we can have a complete site done and just update the titles and photos of your product. And the other way is to build it up from a theme. You can choose the overall look and feel, and it's just a more flexible way to build your website. 
So click there and then click next. And here there are a few different options for what you want your online store to look like. And you can actually preview which option you think is going to look best. And keep in mind, you can always customize and change this later. And I'm gonna show you how to do that later in this video. So for now, we're just gonna choose the Nevi theme because it looks clean and sleek. So you select which one you want and click next. And this right here is a really important part of your WooCommerce online store. This is where you select plugins for your websites. These are all ready-made tools that'll make it so your website is as cool and as amazing as possible. You can also get a plugin to help with email marketing, plugins to create forms and surveys. But for now, let's just go ahead and click no, because later we're gonna select plugins manually. You don't want to just add in a bunch of random plugins. You wanna be very precise with what features and functionality you add to your website. And in this example, I'm gonna show you the only plugin that you actually need to start your online business. So click on next and here, just make sure that you've got WooCommerce selected. As I mentioned earlier, this is the number one plugin that's the most important because it's gonna allow you to accept credit cards and PayPal and allow people to buy things from your website. And again, there are other plugins that are gonna make it so that you'll make more sales with your website, but that's something that you can add in later. For right now, we're just gonna add in the WooCommerce plugin and we're gonna click next. And one new feature that they added recently is you can actually use AI to start creating content for your website. All you have to do is put in your brand name and a description and then it can generate an example and you can tweak it and make it perfect for your product later on. And in this example, we're building a store for my new product, Carnivore Electrolytes. We've already launched this product on Amazon and we're building this store to expand the brand so that we can sell it not just on Amazon, but also sell our product on our own online store. So we've already done the hard work and we've done a lot of the research. We've already created a title and photos and a description already. So in this case, we don't need to use the AI. We're just gonna take our existing title, description and photos and add them to our product description and page. So in this case, if you already have a title and description, you're going to click skip. And the next thing that we're gonna talk about is you need to get your domain name. And with Hostinger, you can get a free domain name. Your domain name is the www whatever your name of your website is, .com. So here you're gonna enter the URL for your website. We're gonna type in carnivoreelectrolytes.com and it's really important for the URL of your website to be easy to remember and hard to forget. Make sure it represents your products and your brands. At this point, your website will be listed below in the dropdown. So click the website for your business and click next. And there's only one more step in setting this up and they're gonna ask you where's your online store target audience. Click below and you'll select where you're going to be selling and the next Hostinger will use all this information to create the perfect WooCommerce website for you. And boom, it's that easy. Though there are a few more things that you'll want to do to optimize your WooCommerce website. You'll be taken to the Hostinger dashboard and there's a menu on the left, scroll down to website, then click auto installer and select WooCommerce. Put in your website credentials, your name in this pop-up window, and on the right, click admin panel, and this will take you to your dashboard where you can operate your WooCommerce store. Click set up my online store, click set up store, and at this point, you'll be welcomed into the WooCommerce backend, which means you've set up the entire store correctly so far. So click set up my store, and this next section is for those building a new store. So click I'm just starting my business and click on continue. Here you'll fill out some information for your store, including the country that you're in, your email, and click on continue. Feel free to add some features that will work best for you, but for now, we're gonna unselect these just to make setup for our example with Carnivore Electrolytes as fast as possible. And at this point, you're ready for the next step, which is step four, Time to add your product. Skip customizing your store for now. We're gonna do that later on, but let's add our products. So click here, and for this, we will be selling a physical product that we will ship to customers when they purchase. However, if you're gonna be selling clothes with different sizes and colors, you're gonna click on variable product. Once we make our selection, we will hit next. Then we're gonna to need to fill out some details, including the product title, a description, as well as uploading a main image for this product. And we will also need to add the price. And boom, just like that, we have a product that we can start selling on our website. Here's the sample, it's very basic, but we still need to go to the next step in website setup, which is setting up payments. This step is necessary for our website to be able to accept payments via credit card. And setting this up is easy. You can use Woo Payments, or another option is you can create and set up a Stripe account 
to use that instead to collect payments. But I recommend for most beginners out there, just start with Woo Payments. It's very easy to set up. After that, you'll need to set up where you're going to be collecting sales tax, which again is straightforward and easy with WooCommerce tax. And finally, we're on step five, which is the most exciting step. So pay attention. We're going to customize our website. We're going to make this as individual as possible so it's perfect for your company and so you can make as much money as possible. We're going to navigate back to the dashboard, click appearance and click themes. Go into the theme and we can customize it. And you can just click and change the title. And here we'll make it carnivore electrolytes, add a picture. All of this is very easy. It's drag and drop. Just click on different elements that you want to change. And within just a few minutes, you'll be able to fully customize your WooCommerce website and go from looking like this to this. But in order to make this as easy as possible, again, I recommend signing up for a good hosting company. And there are a lot of different hosting companies out there, but my favorite one and probably the most affordable one is Hostinger. And as I mentioned, I do have the hookup with Hostinger. There is a link down below that will get you a discounted price. Plus you can use coupon code Travis to get an extra 10% off. So click on that link to sign up for Hostinger and start building your WooCommerce website today. Again, thank you for watching this video and make sure to click on the link to get your discount on Hostinger hosting for your WooCommerce website. Bye.